How's it going everyone? It's Whiplash Snake here bringing you a brand new video with a little bit different gameplay than we're used to. I mean, I used to be doing a lot of CSGO. I'm terrible at CSGO. It lagged my game a lot. It was terrible for just recording. So I decided to try another game. So here's some Super Meat Boy. It's the only game that really didn't lag my computer too much while I was playing it. So I'm just as terrible at this game as I am at CSGO. So don't worry. The cringes are still there. You still get to uh, enjoy my awful gameplay but you know with these kinds of videos it's always a life story so we're just gonna get right into this one because i know you guys like these a little bit these series are very fun to make so if you guys do like this please leave a like on the video i would really appreciate it but that being said let's get right into the video all right so this story takes place all the way back in 2004 when i was about like eight years old and by this time i hadn't really discovered video games as much as i had now so i played outside a lot of the time and uh, had a few friends out there that I would play with a lot of the times. And right outside of my house is a little green belt area, you know, where you can just like walk through. It's a little grassy area that you can just, it's, it's like a park. It's a little park that just separates the two parts of the community. And in this park, there's a little trail that runs through it. It's a little sidewalk. It goes up a hill and it connects to the main road. Now this hill was pretty steep and it was pretty fun to just go up there and try and ride down the hill as fast as you possibly could. And me and my friends would try and do this as fast as we could, try and get the best times down the hill. You know, time trials, real life edition. And so we would just ride our bikes down this hill over and over, trying to go faster and faster every single time. Now eventually, my little sister, she was about like four at the time, came outside and she said, I want to try this. And so she grabs her bike and starts riding down the hill with us. Now, of course, my mom's inside at this point. She has no idea what's going on. We're just out there having a good time. All right, and to describe this hill a little bit better to you guys, it's basically one side of the hill is grass and the other side of the hill is rocks. And basically the sidewalk in the middle separates the two sides. So a lot of the times we would ride pretty close to the grass side. So, I mean, if we're little, we are very klutzy. So if we fell off for any reason, we would land in the grass and it wouldn't hurt as much. And this hill would go steep at first, have a little bit of a plateau, and then go steep again down to the bottom of the green belt. And at the top of the hill, it connected to a main road for the area, which uh, we would go by all the time. And basically every time we went to have a run down this track, we would take our bikes all the way up to the main road, and then just position ourselves at where the sidewalks meet. So my sister decides to take her little bike up there and join us all with this entire run. So she gets up, gets ready and everything, gets on her bike, and goes down the hill once. Everything's fine. She does it perfectly. She didn't go that fast because, you know, she was a little bit afraid, but she did okay. So this continues for a while, and every single time that my sister goes down, she's gaining a little bit more confidence in herself, and she's trying to go faster and faster. Now, eventually, there comes a run where she decides, I'm going to go as fast as I possibly can. So me and my friends are sitting at the bottom of the hill just watching her because she wanted to go alone on this type. She wanted to just show off how fast she could possibly go down this hill. So we're just waiting. We're watching her climb up to the top of the hill. And she just stands there like ready to go. Gets on her bike. We count down and basically everything goes in slow motion. She kicks off, starts flying down the hill, and it immediately... Almost immediately, as soon as she reaches the plateau, her bike swerves. Her front wheel gets wedged between the rocks and the sidewalk, and she goes flying off of her bike, head first into the sidewalk. And the sound it made, it was a, just like an immediate... <laughs> it was loud. I mean, just imagine that sound, only it was a skull and flesh on the sidewalk instead of a fist between a desk. And almost immediately afterwards, it was followed by the loudest shriek I've ever heard in my entire life, and I think my ears are still ringing to this day from that shriek. So me and my friends, we're just like, oh shit, and so we run up to her just to check on her, see if she's okay. We think like, all right, maybe she got like a little scrape or something, she's all right. We're like eight, we don't really know at this point that, you know, falling face first onto cement doesn't always leave you with the best of injuries. And you know, we just run up there and she lifts her face up to us and she's just crying and everything. Eyes are all completely red. And then we just look at her chin, which is basically just leaking blood. I mean, it's just dripping blood everywhere. I mean, there, you could see, like, a bit of flesh just hanging off. It was terrible. And so, my friends stay with her, and like the good brother I was, 
I decided to run away as fast as I possibly could because, you know, I had no idea what to do in this situation, so I was going to get my mom. So I run into the house, and I'm like screaming for my mom and everything, and she's just in the bathroom, you know, doing some makeup and everything, and she just like looks at me like, what are you screaming about? And I'm just like, mom, outside, now, bleeding, out, now. And she has the most confused look on her face and immediately goes outside and then hears my sister just bawling inside of the green belt. And as soon as she saw the blood on her chin, it was full sprint mode. She just ran immediately over Mama Bird to the rescue, immediately grabs her, throws her into the van, and immediately drives to the hospital. My mom grabs a towel, just like places it up to her chin and says like, hold this here, and she immediately drives us all to the hospital as fast as she possibly could. She probably went about like 70 in a 45. Probably ran a few stop signs and red lights in the process, but you know, emergencies are emergencies. Gotta do what you gotta do. And so we get to the hospital and basically it's the emergency room and immediately my sister gets taken in because you know, little four year old girl, chin completely split open from a bike accident. They took her in pretty quickly and you know, looked it over, cleaned it up and immediately started giving her stitches. And I'm not kidding, this took like five stitches to finally close the wound. I mean, it was a bad, bad injury. But after they closed it up, they like gave her some medicine to, you know, relieve the pain a little bit. And then they sent us home and we were completely fine after that point. But you know, it took about over a month for this injury to heal and she wasn't allowed to ride her bike at all during this time. Which, you know, really sucked for her, but... We still got to ride down the hill, so, I mean, sucks to be her, right? I mean, we still just look back at the situation and laugh about it because it was kind of ridiculous at the time. But that was the story. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I know it wasn't really about me much this time. It was more about my sister, but I, I want you guys to get to know me. And it was personal life experience that, you know, happened when I was a very young person. It was one of my first major, like, holy shit moments that I uh, remember, so... I just felt like I should talk about it, and I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please slap a like on it, I would really appreciate it, and if you really liked it, please hit that subscribe button, I would love a new addition to the Snake Army. If you have any crazy life stories or injuries that you would like to tell me about, I would love to read them, please just leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to respond to them, I do read all the comments. But again guys, thank you for watching this video, thank you so much, I appreciate it so much that you guys like my content. We just reached 285 subscribers on this channel, which is mind blowing to me, I never thought that it would start getting this big. So thank you all for staying with me, I really appreciate it. But that being said everyone, this is Whiplash, signing out.